I'm going to show you a really cool night tonight. Um, I will uh, be as clear as I possibly can, but let's let's go for a tour around the solar system. I don't know if you know or not, but let's just show you this. Jupiter and Saturn are in conjunction. This is a 2020, and Jupiter and Saturn's conjunction. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Here we are. We're logging in. It's pretty sweet, eh? This is coming in. This is from the Earth. It's super sweet. There's the sun. There's the Earth. And here we go. How small our world really is. And we're moving out. There's one astronomical unit. Ten astronomical units. One hundred. One thousand. Ten thousand. One light year. Moving out, and here we are looking at the solar system. Here we come in. That's pretty amazing, eh? What you say? Here's Saturn. Saturn, when you look at Saturn, it's actually same weight of the Earth, but it's so much larger. Okay, so that was a preview. This is us right now. It's our actual time. And look at the Earth. Let's see if I can zoom up on you. There's the Earth right here. Look at Jupiter and Saturn, folks. Is that sweet or what? Mars, Uranus. Now the solar system is very heavy weighted right now. Look at this. Let me turn the sound down. Okay. Look at this. There we are at the Earth. Uranus is over there. Neptune is way over there. Look at the weight of everything right now. This is right now as I speak. Moving around, the moon's right there. Just after the new moon. And Jupiter and Saturn are right in alignment. Let's take a look here. Super sweet or what, eh? I told you I would give you a great ride today. Here's Saturn. Coming around. Coming around. There's the sun over there. Be wild. Keeping around again like so. And we're going to go to the sun. There's Jupiter right there. Let's go to Jupiter. And Jupiter's right here. Remember, they're aligned. Sun's right there. They say, well, they're always aligned, but th this particular alignment is meeting up with each other, right? In the same space. Can't even see where Saturn went to. It's over there somewhere. That's Europa. Is that one of the moons? Can I go there? There's Europa right there. Spinning around. There's Jupiter right there. Is this is a sweet app or what, folks? And now I get to share it with you folks all the time. Uh, as many times as I want to. 
So, what's this over here? We're going to Venus. Here we are in Venus. Spinning around again this way. The sun is back over there. Uranus, really moving out of the solar system. Yeah, it's pretty sweet at times. We're going to spin around like so. And the solar system is over there. Now to make things a little easier on us, I will see comments, show the comets, star names. What I can show here. Look at this. this is awesome, eh? Constellation names. It gets kind of confusing if you look at all this. Keep this low. You know, we can go wherever you like. Let's uh, let's go. Let's take a look here. Okay, so now we're gonna see we're in Uranus right now. We're right next to Uranus. There's Libra over there. It's fine. It's all about where you want to head to. I mean, the solar system is my uh, backyard. I'm gonna go like this. That's Mars. Let's go to Mars. Mars is not that far from Earth right now. Here's Mars. This is a great program because I can come up here and there's all these different places. Explore planet. Mars. Gives me all the information. Encyclopedia. It's great stuff, eh? We're going to have a fun time here. But right now, we're going to look at the solar system. <clears throat> There's the Earth, there's Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Wow, let's check this out. Comet, current position. Can I visit it? Coming in. This is Mars right here. We just went to Mars, again. Isn't that great? Come back over here. Right there, I was supposed to go over here. Let's go to this comet right here. See, pretty amazing, eh? You can just dial right in on it. I don't know if I could actually go and see it though. I want to. So this way. But being a good host for you, uh. This is a quite an interesting alignment of planets here. Let's go to Jupiter. Pretty wild. Sometimes you have to go to like Europa or someplace to uh, really understand the mass of Jupiter. It spins. Oh, let's look at the encyclopedia here. Structure. Structure for Jupiter. Jupiter is composed primarily on gaseous and liquid matter. There is no surface, only a gradual change from the atmosphere. Conditions blend smoothly from gas to liquid as the temperature and the pressure inside Jupiter increase steadily toward the core. Mantle. The surrounding liquid hydrogen is responsible for Jupiter's massive magnetic field, which is 10 times stronger than the Earth's, with the magnetic pull strength being 20,000 times stronger than the Earth's pull strength. Pretty crazy, eh? Look at that. So here's the atmosphere. It's molecular hydrogen, helium. 
mantle, liquid metallic hydrogen and helium, core, fence, solid rock. Wow. And I don't know exactly how they know this. I didn't, but this, I think this is all theorized, eh? Of course, no one's really checked it out this way. But yeah, it's a really wild program. Psychopedia. Pretty crazy stuff. Solar orbit is 11.9 years. Compared to our 365 days. Here we are at the sun. Now, do we want to go somewhere else? Uh, where else can we go here? Have we been to Pluto? Let's go to Pluto, see how where Pluto is. So we go here. Oh, the other thing that's really cool about this, we got spacecraft to look at. Um, Earth orbit. We can look at the International Space Station. Visit. There it is right there. See how fast I fly? Isn't that amazing on what? And these are all different so-called space stations, uh, or not space stations, but, um, that's Earth right there. Let's see what we got here. Back this way. Earth, Sun, comets, dwarf planets, Messer objects, Crab Nubula. Let's go visit the Crab Nubula. Can we do that? I should be able to go there. Hang on. Hang on. Pretty wild, eh? Pretty wild stuff. I'm going to zoom out of here. Go back to the solar system. I think the other cool thing about this is we can look at um, when we're looking at near stars. See what's the I guess this regal one right here. And Jill, this one right here is how far away is that one here? Just here we are. We come all the way over here in the night sky. Can't quite see it. It's, it's right underneath the earth, it looks like that's where it would be. We're back at the solar system again. Where else can I take you? Uh, can I take you to comment 67P? I think I'm going to have to zoom in on there all manually. Here we go. Bring it like so. Zooming in some more. Whoa. I want to get in there closer, but they won't let me. I don't want to set myself on fire from around the sun here. Is this Mercury? Is it? So, um, Mer 
there's just a lot less to see on Mercury than Earth, so we shouldn't really completely destroy Earth, don't you think? Am I being a really good uh, tour guide here? Uh, where else would you like to go? That's a tour guide, say. Hey, um, I have a bottomless tank of gas, and I can go to any solar system in the world. Okay. Earth. Uranus. That was quick, eh? And then when we zoom out here, there it is right there. Alright. About. And there's the sun over there. It's a big solar system, folks. It's a lot of walking involved. If you want to get off the planet, it's not a fun time. But yeah, this is a very interesting time. I just wanted to share this with you. Maybe we'll try to do this again. Um, what haven't I showed here? But yeah, there's a lot of cool things on here for sure. So I can hide everything, right? I can go and say. Start hiding everything. Why? This is what happens when you turn off this. No, there's nothing, right? Okay. Then you look around. And it's just the only the sun. There's no fun there, eh? Can't see anything. Now, let's show the planets. And the moons. And the dwarf planets. And the comets. And the spacecraft. And the stars. And you know what? It's people that gave all these things name. And creation allowed us to have this technology. So we don't have to go outside and chop off the wood. Up all the wood in the backyard so we can have a fire and keep us warm. We just sit in front of the computer and the computer will throw off so much heat from showing us the whole entire solar system virtually. Isn't that how it is? But let's go back to Earth here. And look at all those solar systems. I mean, not solar system, but look at all those spacecraft. And once again, where was the. Um, Yeah, so this cost me um, $15 Canadian. It's like a 12-pack of beer, I think. Something like that. I guess see if I can talk my roommate into opening the Christmas points where you don't have to go down to the beer store because I accidentally spent the money on this program. I always want to make fun money. It's my, like you have like a little, uh, little storage chest for spending money on things that will increase your intellectual ability five in this world. Just imagine if I knew I had to know all the code all these satellites were orbiting the Earth right now. Let's go to the moon. When was the last time we've been to the moon? Pretty wild, eh? There's the Earth from the moon. We find uh, there's Uranus over there. There's Mars. It's the never-ending. We haven't been to Neptune yet. Check this out. Sweet. Yes, there's Triton. Totally cool. Structure. Neptune's blue color is much more vivid than that of Uranus, which has a similar amount of methane. So an unknown component is pres presumed to cause Neptune's intense color. Atmosphere. Neptune generates significant amounts of internal heat through processes that are not clearly understood. This drives the fastest winds in the solar system and gives rise to a distinctive 
high altitude bands of cloud as well as generated gigantic anti-cyclonic storms, cyclonic storms, storms. <laughs> mantle. The fluid mantle has a high electrical conductivity and gives rise to the planet's magnetic field. You know, look at this. Look at Nike and me. There's a lot of minerals in the universe. You know there's enough gold on planet Earth for everyone to have 20 pounds? It's pretty amazing, eh? And let's go to the series. Can we go to the series? I don't know. Can I, can I get the series from here? What about the Jupiter comet? I'd like to go there. It's not letting me. There's that comment right there, eh? If I can zoom in on that comment. Will they let me get any larger or any closer than that comment? They do not want let me uh will not let me uh, get any closer to the comments that I want to. I wanna really get close. But they're not really being my friend. There's Europa. So there. Europa's cool, eh? Looks like they had like a paintball war, eh? Or paint gun war on, on Europa? It's kind of wild, eh? Well, might as well go back home. I don't know what time you have to get to bed, but I have to get up early. So, um, I hope this doesn't give me any kind of really weird sleeping patterns tonight that I've tripped all over the solar system. I'm not sure what that pressure does. You see, if I wanted to look at all this without seeing all this right here, all these little zigzags, I'm just going here and... hide it. But if I still wanted to go to the locations, right? If I wanted to go someplace... Like, uh, Galactic Center. Can I go to the Galactic Center? Where can I go? What's the farthest way I can go? Uh, what's the furthest we can go away? Butterfly Cluster? No, I want to go somewhere else. Where else can we go? Star names. Okay, see where else can we go? Comets, dwarfs, planets. I want to go to the galactic center. It shows me where it is, but they won't let me go there. Constellations. Maybe they'll let me go to deep space high, high places, like uh, Voyager 2. Where's Voyager 2? Can we go? No, they're not going to let me go there. It's just uh, too far away. I guess I only have so much gas, eh? Um, we, we don't have that much fuel. What else? Where else can we go? How about some? Um, no. Go like this. Go to the stars. Near stars. How far away is that one? It's going so quickly. How many light years of that? That was, uh, zoom out. One million kilometers in a width, eh? How big is our own sun? Where is our sun? Don't you just like hanging out with me? We just get all this deep space kind of attitude happening. You're this far away from your own solar system, but I can't even find our solar system anymore. I lost us. Give me a second here.
There's all these places that we can't really go. Let's, um... Back to the solar system. Okay, here we are again. Once again, this is right now, it's current time. We've been on this forever. Pretty wild place. Series, anyone? We can't actually go to series. We have enough gas to do that. Wormholes are amazing. Wow, there's another place. A paint job on this place? I'm not sure what kind of uh, planet this was until this thing was huge. Hey, look at this. These are actually supposed to be really close to life. I don't know what hit right there. Kind of crazy. Mercury. So sweet. I love tripping around the solar system. I really want a beer. Oh, hold on. See my else? My, my, mo my mouth gets so dry tripping around the solar system. I just you gotta wonder what it would be like to be out in the middle of the solar system. Like right here at Ceres. And me looking for a beer. I, I heard that they sold beer over here at this Earth place. Let's go check it out over there. Yeah, uh, do you have, uh, keys? <laughs> do you have Rolling Rock beer? I like that. I'm looking for a Rolling Rock. <laughs> this looks like a good place for Rolling Rock. And I live right up in here. This little bright little area right here somewhere. That's where we are. And we've just been tripping around the entire solar system. And Saturn's way over there. Let's go to Saturn again. Pluto. We didn't go to Pluto. So sweet, isn't it? Pennies a day. Actually, it's not even, It's going to be less than pennies a day. I'll be able to enjoy this. Pluto is pretty cool looking planet, eh? The sun is way over there with all the other guys. And another something over there. Uranus. The speed of space, eh? Pretty wild, eh? Look at this. And Uranus has rings as well. To Mars. Well, I hope you enjoyed my uh, trip around the solar system, folks. I don't want to keep you too long. It's been a long movie already. YouTube says I should only be down in six minutes. I'll talk to you later. All the best. Just uh, getting sun in my face. No disgrace. Not even a can of maze. Over and out. Bye bye. There's that little rainbow ball. That's what happens when the rainbow hits each other. It hits itself. Can you hear the fans running? I wonder how long we're gonna have to be like this. And goodbye.